Good morning, guys. It is, oh, I almost dropped my phone. It is officially Lunar New Year's. So I wanted to vlog today to walk you guys through my Lunar New Year's day that I'm gonna be spending with my family. I called off today so I can go back home. So I'm gonna be going home later. So I haven't gotten out of bed to brush my teeth or wash my face yet. So excuse me for the crusty face. I did start my day with journaling actually. One thing that I did write in my journal is how I'm going forward with this YouTube vlogging thing. I was giving myself too much pressure and expectation and comparison. And as someone that likes to compare and you know, give it all, give it my best, it's hard not to compare, but I will do my best. When I ask myself if I like doing this stuff, the answer is I do. As I sat down and thought about the reason why I'm not feeling as much of a fiery passion to like vlog my daily content as much anymore is because living here, I don't go out and do much. Like, I feel like you guys see my life, but it's the same kind of stuff repeating day after day after day. I'm literally cooking in my small, I don't know, seven, eight foot wide kitchen on the daily basis. And I don't film at work. I can't film at work. And yeah, that's really about it. I don't go out and do anything. I'm so sorry to you guys and to myself I think when it comes to me editing it and hearing myself talk, so the same person, the same room for the last 14, 16 videos, I don't want to bore you guys out. I don't want to bore myself out and throw this whole thing aside. So I'm just going to, you know, take a little step back, take it slow for now until hopefully bigger, better, newer things come into life. So I was going to pick up some nice fresh bakery while I'm driving home, but they're closed. <laughs> I didn't know. Doing a little mini grocery haul for the family. Nothing. So much traffic. But I got snacks. It's not like the Americans are celebrating Lunar New Year. <laughs> it's funny because the traffic is making it seem like everyone's going home to celebrate the New Year's. But no. It's our turn. It's our New Year's turn. Those are my snacks. No, it's not safe to eat and drink while you drive, but I do it so much, I got pretty good at it. Mmm. These are really good. I just got these at Latte Market before leaving. They're actually really good. Y'all hear the ASMR? Let's do it again. These are so addicting. 
I think I'm gonna finish all my snacks before I get there. Like I always do. I pulled out these spicy, crunchy seaweed snacks. generations before me or even to my parents generation because as I was growing up I feel like there most of the time I didn't really I wasn't able to connect with anyone else about the celebrations and fest festivities that I was doing at home with family it wasn't really t like shared or talked about on like Instagram or Facebook or shared with that often or barely ever but nowadays everyone talks about it and mentions it and shares it which is great because that allows like our younger generation to learn about it they're exposed to their own culture more which is great because we want to keep these cultural traditions alive and I feel like this will be a great way for that just something that came to my mind because I feel like when I compare myself growing up and like friends my age compared to kids nowadays I feel like they are so much more lucky because that like a lot of people in the country are so much more open to receiving and learning about these other cultural traditions and learning about it and accepting it and also even like being, them being aware of it and saying like happy Chinese New Year's or happy Lunar New Year's to you I think that's just a big big step forward you know so props to the online and social media community for being able to do that for the younger generation and it's gonna be a great thing for as we get older too because obviously for me I want my kids to know about it learn about it and grow up around these kind of traditions and not be lost without it I do not want these traditions to go lost and get hidden away oh they're so cute ah. all right so I'm actually surprising my nephews with some late Christmas gifts. Hello! Oh, 
Det var lige at give det. Ej ja! Oh, yeah. 